Hello, it's me again. Bet you thought you'd seen the last of me for at least three months, but um, I'm back and I'm going to take on a challenge today. So Audrey is very much into ballroom and the makeup there is absolutely wild to me. It's like so exaggerated and everything. Ooh, I still have my hair clipping. That is absolutely the world that she is involved in. I was just kind of like looking at the makeup style that they have in that community and it's absolutely wild and it's something that I would never do which is kind of why I want to do it today because it's just not the kind of makeup that I would wear. But so basically today I'm just gonna take on that challenge. I'm gonna wear lashes. I'm gonna wear the biggest lashes I own. Just do a crazy eye look. I know I do have like two red spots pimples here because I've just been playing around in makeup a lot these past few days but we are here, it is fun, my skin looks terrible, but I actually put in bronzer and contour today and I will highlight later because I want to get the full effect and have loads of fun. Again, and you can see I've already put in my base makeup as well as my eyebrows because I'm pretty sure I'll spend a long time doing my eye makeup. Essentially what I've noticed about ballroom makeup is that the placement of all the colors are the same, so you would have like really black outer edges of your eye and then depending on like what color theme you want, you would pick a corresponding glitter shade or metallic shade that you would put in the center and then you just blend the other colors out on the edges of the eye. I'm also filming in natural light which is quite nice but it shifts quite a lot so if that happens I apologize. I do have some opinions about ballroom makeup. I guess like part of it is like first of all they're really young people in ballroom but then their makeup has to be done so heavily they look kind of like really old women and i don't think that makes me very comfortable like recently i saw this issue on millie bobby brown and the way that she's been dressed she's been her makeup has been done just makes her look super old and i just think that's super creepy because it almost fosters a kind of like hey look at me i'm a young girl but it's not her fault celebrities all have like a, a pr team to just like really take care of their image and I just think it's like super unhealthy and I'm worried for her as she grows up but uh that was a total different tangent but it's also important to know about and talk about so with mangobalm.com I'm just like I don't actually use this except for filming so far because I just use my Laneige lip sleeping mask okay I'll just pause for a bit so I can put all the products here that I use on my face so far so let's begin. Surprise, it's a voiceover. I didn't want to talk while I was doing my makeup, otherwise filming would have taken a really long time, so here I am. Anyway, I'm just starting off with primer and tapping that in the same way that I did in my last video. I then grabbed my gel liner and made sort of a cat eye wing, but really big, so that I would know where to put in the really dark shades later. It's almost like coloring in a coloring book, because it's really easy to get super messy with your dark shades. With how fast the video is going, it makes me want to talk really fast just to be in sync with it, but you can watch me try and draw this cat eye over my pimple, which is kind of a struggle. But yeah, I have to speed these clips up otherwise. You'd be watching over two hours of this footage and I don't think anybody wants to do that. Here I'm using some cream concealer to clean up my sharp edges and if you have mistakes you can do this too. This is kind of why I like gel liner more than liquid at this point because it's easier to fix if you would like to and also it layers under powders like eyeshadow really well. When you have the wings you desire, you can start filling this in with a dark eyeshadow. Here I'm just using a dark purple one, and I'm just thinking, what color do I want to use since I'm using dark purple? What goes well with dark purple? I don't know. But clearly I decided it was fine and just kept filling them in anyway. As an Asian person, ideally you don't fill the whole lid in, so just focus on the outer third and leave the center and the front of the lid bare. I still don't know what colors I'm gonna do. I eventually decided that I would kind of do similar colors to the other video that I just posted. Here I am, I'm grabbing a light pink shade and blending that over the top line of the cat eye so that it's not as harsh, but it's still defined. Essentially what you want to do is just really keep going over that line and also blending the pink shade up. Almost any transition shade will work, like you could use blue if you wanted to have a blue look. Um, or brown or purple but this is so that 
the black is not so harsh against my skin and you can see that I start to really blend this really high up my brow, almost up until my eyebrow. Sorry about the weird focus, but here I kind of take a darker purple that's not as dark as the dark that I filled my cat eye in and use this to blend between the pink and the black, but I essentially start blending the darker shade into my crease, so almost like a cut crease, but without actually cutting your crease. And so it's basically for the blend and the definition. You really want to focus a lot of time on this as you can tell by that light change, but just keep going back and forth, like deepening the darker colors, blending it with the lighter colors, making funny faces, and just sharpening your line, like just spend a really long time on making this look good if you want it to look good. Actually it looks kind of okay. <laughs> I'm shocked, I'm shocked. I really, I really am. I feel like I have so much power now. Anyway, ooh, this sunlight looks really good on my palettes. And here is when I decide the focus is finally back on and I also pick this metallic blue shade that I thought would contrast really well with the peachiness and since I had purple to blend the black and the peach, it worked fine anyway. This is your reminder that you could use any color metallic that you want. It could be silver, it could be gold, but as long as it works well with your transition shade, it's fine. For the inner corners, try and use like a lighter color of the metallic center shade. So for example, you know, if you were doing gray, you could put silver here or any sort of glitter. So again, in ballroom makeup, it doesn't have to be blue, but I just want it to be really adventurous. And um, I'm putting this like frosty blue in the inner corners to really open up the eye. You can't really tell that it's blue, but it's like a really reflective, shiny shade. and. That's what I recommend to put in the inner corners. Something else I also recommend is to bring that front shimmer shade down as well, so it looks more coherent and nice. If you feel like the metallic shade isn't bright enough, again, just go back in however many times you want. And if you feel like the black isn't dark enough, then you can go in with more black eyeshadow. At this point, if you're wondering what to do on the lower lash line, you could just do a reflection of what you did on your eyelids. So I could have used peach or I could have used blue on the lower lash line, but I decided to go for a more contrasting shade, which is this like eggplant looking purple. And I kind of wing that out as a separate line, so it kind of has that double liner effect. To continue with the contrasting theme, I added this teal shade to the inner corner, so it also plays into like the blue cool tones, but since purple and teal I believe are something on the color wheel, but they do look really good together. Uh, this was more experimental, but it worked out in my favor, so I was really lucky. I would also say to put a metallic shade on the bottom lash line to really help make your eyes pop. Here I'm putting a really light eyeshadow, maybe almost white or your foundation powder to kind of clean up that edge and make it look really sharp and like they're actually intentionally two wings and not a mistake. Here I've picked out a liquid glitter that I really like. It's got really multicolored shimmers so it kind of looks good with any color eyeshadow that you put it on top of. If your eyeshadow on the bottom is blue, it really reflects blue and it looks really good on top of like pink and other colors as well. The way that I apply this is by taking some of the product on my finger and then tapping this across my eye so that this doesn't displace the eyeshadow underneath since there is a liquid that helps to glue the glitters to your eyelid. And I'm also putting this on my lower lash line as well. I just find that with this kind of product, using your fingers gives you a lot more control and precision compared to using the applicator. If you're worried about using chunky glitters and having it look like a mess, really just concentrate it on the center of your lid. When looking at reference photos for ballroom makeup, I also noticed that they have a really, really strong brow bone highlight. So here I'm literally using a basically matte white shade to do that. By using this white shade, it just really helps to highlight that part. And of course, you can use this to clean up any lines again. Another hallmark of ballroom makeup is this stark white liner that they put in the inner corners as well as the rest of their waterline. And this is what I'm doing here. It's really dramatic, but you know what? It kind of puts the look together. And here is me questioning my entire existence after putting on white eyeliner. 
Since using a crayon eyeliner isn't really precise, I've seen that people do add a black liquid liner to the front of their eye to really sharpen that point out, and that's what I'm doing. Something that I will really emphasize is that you can always go back and fix mistakes or sharpen edges if you're not happy with how things look. And now it's exciting! I'm taking out my lashes that I never wear. I'm also aware that ballroom lashes are much thicker and chunkier than these, but I don't own very dramatic lashes. And also, I really recommend trimming off the edges of your lashes before you put them on so they don't itch you in the corner of your eye and kill you. Anyway, I managed to put them on finally, and basically the age-old tip of using eyeliner to cover up the lash band is used here. I really recommend that, otherwise you look like an idiot. However, I am an idiot all of the time, so that's just unavoidable for me. So if you want to sharpen up the line, again, you can go over everything you did with a liquid to really seal it in. And yeah. I mean, it makes it look extra sharp, so why not? And you're about to see me thinking I'm finally done, except I realize I need to pick a lipstick. And then I realized I also forgot to put on highlighter, so this is me putting on some highlighter and being an idiot. And I quote, it's so soft. It's so soft. Don't forget to highlight the brow bone and also your nose, and an absurd amount on your cupid's bow. <sighs> Alright, this is it. I think this is really... I've just peaked. I don't think I'll ever do anything as wild as this ever again. Actually, no, this is fun. I probably will. Wow, that was really fun. I just like, kind of watch YouTube videos in silence, and hopefully that I will voice over this. I did, um, and it took me basically two hours. Two hours. Anyway, this is like largely shocking. I've literally never thought I could be this person, but now I am. I do have some quick notes. So obviously this color scheme, you can literally switch out any color with it. So instead of like blue or peachy shades on the outside or this like purple and teal, you could do like red and gold, which is kind of what I did yesterday in my test run. But I really like this color combo. So the placement of the colors are just, you can swap them out as long as they're coherent. But roughly, this is generally the shape. You can just draw out the edges and stuff. Just massively over highlight yourself. I think I could go with a bit more because I'm literally never this person. This is way too much highlight. This is actually crazy. But it probably, like, I think it looks much better in camera than it does in person because I don't think I look this nice. Or maybe I could cook lunch like this. Thanks for watching. Hmm, maybe I should, maybe, maybe you should hire me. Okay, I'm back just to show you that I did curl my lashes. I did not apply mascara because that would be so hard to take off, but this was actually so fun for me. I usually do like really simple looks like the one I posted earlier, but dude, 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 I might just go out like this. Why? I? I probably won't, but. <laughs> so like, is this what it feels like to be an ABG because um what the heck is this is this is this what it's like is this what it's like to have lash extensions do you feel like this every day I just want to know